madai mengi ya ufisadi yanapoendelea kuzingira jumba la Nyayo House wa Kenya wakihitajika kugharamia hela nyingi ili kupata pasipoti we will clean Nyayo House from corruption and all manner of crimes there are good officers who are there serving the country very patriotically but there are few there are few that is the problem there are others there collecting bribes and harassing the people of Kenya to get services which they should be getting for free and has their rights waziri usalama wa ndani professor kidhure kindiki ametangaza kuwa kuanzia tarehe moja mwezi wa novemba watondoa vizuizi vyote katika barabara zote kuu kwa nimbi nu ile ya kudhibiti usalama ili kuwa ni ya kitambo kindiki akisema wanapania kuongeza idadi ya maafisa wa polisi wa kupiga doria barabarani concerns in my area where we have a lots of roadblocks some of them even one kilometer apart where the traffic police have been harassing people they have used these roadblocks as avenues for corruption and uh, that is in west pokot last month Actually, early this month the president directed that within 90 days we must remove all roadblocks and replace them with patrols and other ways of achieving the security uh, uh, intentions that roadblocks do, uh, do play Kindiki aidha mebaini kuwa wameunda visa mpya ya kitalii na ambayo itakuwa inatumika na mataifa ya Kenya Rwanda na Uganda. Sasa inatazamiwa kuwa wananchi wa mataifa haya matatu hawatakuwa na hitaji visa ila watakuwa natumia visa moja kuzuru mataifa hayo matatu. We commend we support the president uh, having prerogative of making Kenya a free visa entry country. But does that have effect on drug traffic? Could this make Kenya a free passport for drug traffickers? How well is the ministry prepared in abating that? Yes, we have introduced the East African tourist visa, which is one common visa which can be used by a tourist who enters our country uh, to be able also to access at least two other countries, Rwanda and Uganda, uh, on the same entry visa. And we are hoping that this could be extended to all the other member states of the EAC. Na kutokana na idadi kuu ya wakimbizi ambao Kenya inaendelea kupokea waziri Kindiki amesema kuwa Kenya ndio iko na idadi kuu ya wakimbizi ikifikia watu laki saba. Wizara ikitarajiwa kushirikiana na benki kuu ya dunia ili kuhakikisha wakimbizi wale wana mazingira safi. The Dadab cluster of camps and the Kakuma cluster of camps turn them into municipalities in partnership with the respective county governments and provide basic amenities that will make refugees live in more hospitable conditions.